What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we have a very very nice pistol. We are going to talk about the Beretta 92G Elite LTT. Now I am not a huge fan of Beretta. I don't love them. I'm not a Beretta fanboy. I don't own one but when you take a Beretta and you give it the Landon tactical treatment then you have my attention. A zero connection to Beretta if you are concerned. Zero connection to Landon tactical if you are concerned. This was loaned to the channel by my buddy Christian, so I just wanted to say a quick thank you to him for loaning me this gun, letting me put a few hundred rounds through it, keep it for a few weeks. That was very, very nice of him. All right, let's get right into it. I first want to talk a little bit about Landon Tactical. If you don't know, uh, Landon Tactical is owned by Ernest Langdon. He is a veteran, competition shooter, instructor, and he makes some of the nicest custom Berettas on the market. He's kind of like the go-to Beretta guy uh, in the firearms industry. Now he calls this the ultimate Beretta 92. I think I kind of got to agree with them. This gun is an optics cut away from being perfect. If this thing had an optics cut, it would absolutely be the perfect Beretta for me, in my opinion. Now, before I forget, when you buy a, uh, uh, if you buy a Beretta from Landon Tactical, you can get it customized and get things changed and the features that you want. So I mentioned that optics cut. It is available. I believe he's still the only one doing optics cuts on Berettas, but it is available with an optics cut if you want to be cool and get that optic like you should. All right, let's get right into the features of this gun. Magazines. It comes with three 18 round magazines. These are not the ones that come with it. Uh, these magazines uh, and all the newer Beretta magazines are very, very high quality. They are made by Metgar in Italy. They hold 18 rounds of nine millimeter or they are available with 10 rounds for you folks who do not live in a free state. Um, and uh, they're good, the high quality metal mag, plastic base pad, no issues with the magazines, especially the ones made by Metgar. Magazine well is fine, it's not a huge competition mag well, but as far as something you may carry and shoot in competitions and use in home defense, this gun can definitely fill a lot of those different roles. Good jack of all trades type gun. So I think the magazine is fine, especially on the back of the grip. Has that little extra mag well, doesn't have that dumb lanyard loop. So I am a very, very big fan of that. Now as far as the grips, they are very, very thin set of uh, VZ G10 grips. They are plastic. I think the texture feels very, very good. It's definitely not going to rip up your skin. And of course, if you don't like them, you can very, very easily swap these grips out. The front and the back uh, has very solid, solid checkering. Uh, this gun is very heavy. It has very, very solid checkering on the front and the rear back strap. And uh, it shoots very, very soft, very, very flat. Now the style frame is an M9A1 style. Now some people think that frame is a little too fat, a little too big for their hands. If you have small man hands, <laughs> that might be an issue for you. For me, I think this gun feels, points, just wonderful. Everything about the grip. It, I have a lot of good things to say about this gun. I don't think I have any cons. Believe it or not, I just it's a it's a great great gun. Uh, mag release, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but it's in a good shape, good size, good texture, reversible, drops the magazines freely. I really have nothing to say about the magazine release. The trigger, however, I have a lot to say about the trigger. Um, once again, if you get this from Landon Tactical. You can, one of the many things you can change and customize is the trigger. So if you want an even better trigger, get it from Landon Tactical and the trigger will be even better. With that said, it has a very nice trigger. The, the word I'm going to use to describe it is smooth. If you felt some of the other Beretta triggers, especially some of the ones who have spent time overseas, that trigger stacks and stacks and stacks and it's pretty gross. This trigger is so smooth and on single action, it's it's phenomenal. Um, it's a really, really smooth trigger all the way through. Quick uh, dad tip for you guys, if you're going to carry any gun that's double action, single action, make sure you practice that transition a lot. Draw the gun, shoot double action, shoot, shoot a couple shots single action, decock it, and do that over and over and over and get used to that transition from double to single. Anyway, let's take a close up look at the trigger. Um, you stop pulling right away. And, you, and it's probably eight or nine pounds. It, it's a little on the long side, like you would expect for a double action trigger without a safety, but it's again, super, super smooth. Your reset 
uh, is light. It's very slightly audible, not much. Uh, it's not really pushing your finger out really, really hard. It's a very soft reset. And then that, <laughs> that single action trigger, I giggle. It's probably somewhere around four pounds, if not a little less, uh, especially with this gun has quite a few rounds on it. So I think it's a little bit worn in and has a little bit less rounds than that. Um, what most people would consider a safety on this gun is not a safety. If you don't know, when you see the G in the Beretta model, that is a decocker only. And if I was going to buy a Beretta, especially this one here, I would absolutely go for the decocker only, not the safety, but you do you. Um, if you are going to carry a gun with a safety, again, practice drawing, swiping that safety off, breaking that first shot over and over and over and over. And just be careful if you carry a gun with and without a safety, just make sure you practice clearing, breaking that safety before. So if you don't know how a decocker works, is the first shot you take is, the first shot you take is double action. The trigger pull will cock that hammer and then drop it, send the round down range, slide goes to the rear, and then your next round is single action. And that's the nice, short, crisp trigger pull. So if the gun is, say if you load it, for example, and it's back in single action mode, you pull down on this lever, which is ambi, and it sends it back into double action mode. That's what a decocker does for all of you boys and girls who are new to pistols or new to double action, single action guns. Being the single action trigger pull is so light, not a good uh, idea to carry the gun in that condition, in my opinion. So after you load it, pull the decocker down, sends the, uh, the hammer forward there. Now it's uh, safe to carry, in my opinion. Once again, if you order this from Landon Tactical and you want it with a safety, that is one of the many features they can upgrade, change, switch for you if you want to go safety instead of a decocker. But my opinion, I'm gonna stick with a decocker. Rail is fine, it does only have one cutout, but uh, it's a standard 1913 cutout. I had no issues with it. As always, I tried Surefire, Streamlight, Modlight, Enforce, and Olight, all five of them, and all five worked with no problem. All five had a pretty decent, it was pretty easy to reach the paddles or the controls. So uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say there's any issues with the rail. Now my second favorite part of the review is going to be the slide release. I love talking about the slide release because it makes people angry <laughs> when I do that. It's not a slide release, it's a slide stop. Anyway, if you choose to use it as a slide release like I do, it is extended. Uh, it's very, very easy to drop that slide using the thumb on your strong hand. If you are a righty, it is not ambi, so you lefties uh, are gonna have to run the slide over the top. Um, even though it's extended, it's up a little bit higher, and me and my thumbs forward grip, how your grip should be as well, um, I don't think you're gonna ride this slide release. I, I just think it's up and out of the way enough where you're not gonna ride it, but at the same time, it's extended so you can drop it and A plus on the slide release. Speaking of the slide, the slide is a vertex style slide and there's a lot of really, really good things going on here. The front uh, serrations are great. Not all Berettas have front serrations. The rear serrations are also great, especially with the decocker and the rear uh, sight. It's very easy to run the gun from the rear. If you do cool guy press checks or whatever from the front, uh, the front serrations are very, very usable as well. The barrel, uh, the slide rather, is cut away quite a bit. And I think aesthetically, that's super, super pleasing. The way this gun looks is just, I think it's a beautiful gun. Um, it does uh, remove a little bit of the weight. This is an all steel gun, they're heavy, but it does remove a little bit of the weight. Um, front serrations, the design, what else? I guess that's it for the slide. Let's talk about the sights. Now what it normally comes with is a uh, red fiber optic front sight, very small, precise, blacked out rear sight with a ledge for one hand manipulations. Again, if you buy it from Landon Tactical, you can have different sights put on here. These are a set of uh, night sights, Ameriglo night sights. I believe my buddy Christian put these on here. He is a gunsmith extraordinaire, extremely knowledgeable. I don't know if he got it from Landon Tactical this way or if he did it, whatever. Uh, being again that the sights are just dovetailed in, you can easily exchange them if you don't like the fiber optic front sight that it normally comes with. Now I think I hit several times all the different things Landon Tactical offers with this gun, but just in case I miss one, you can get a bevel, bevel, bevel carry job if you want things to be smoothed and rounded out. You can get different sights, you can upgrade the trigger, 
uh, and the optics cut. That's huge. Uh, and before they did it, I believe, I'm almost positive they were the first ones to put optics on a Beretta. My man, I, uh, I would never carry a Beretta before that, so that's fantastic. I'm not going to show you how to take this gun apart. Again, YouTube moderator, listen, I'm not showing them how to do it. Seems like every time I field strip a gun on uh, a video, my, my, my uh, video doesn't get monetized. So I'm going to try again not to and we'll see what happens. Either way, tons of videos out there how to do it. It's very, very simple. You rotate a lever. It's not hard. One thing, I, two things I do want to point out is the guide rod is a all metal stainless guide rod. Not all Berettas have that. This one does. The barrel is extremely nice as well. It is a 4.7 inch barrel. It has a recessed target crown. So if it kind of gets hit or nicked, it's not going to affect the accuracy. And the one thing I want to point out about the Beretta, it's a, it's a very different type of action than your Glocks and whatever your favorite pistol is out there. And the bullet doesn't have to travel up to get inside of the barrel from the magazine. It kind of more goes straight in. And uh, definitely, I'll see if I can roll a picture in so you can see what I mean. Um, it should aid in reliability. I think you know, a lot of people may not like Berettas, but unless that gun has spent 20 years in Afghanistan, they are typically very, very reliable and they run extremely well. All right, we're getting to the end here. Stay with me, hang with me, we're almost there. I'm gonna pull up the dimensions, the price, and the weight. A couple things I wanna point out. It is a heavy gun. This is an all steel gun. So yes, it is gonna be heavier than your Glock or your P320 or whatever your favorite gun is. But the cool factor is significantly higher. And I think most people would say that these shoot significantly nicer than pretty much any polymer wonder out there, especially with a single action trigger. As far as the price, it's not a cheap gun. It's a, uh, MSRP is $1,100, so it's probably going to be north of $1,000, but again, it's an all steel gun. You really can't compare it to the Polymer Wonders, and the cool factor is way better than, uh, excuse me, than a Glock or a SIG or any other gun. All right, let's talk about testing that I have done. This is one of the videos where I did not take this to the range and dump 500 rounds in one day. I took it to the range several times. I've just been going to the range a ton lately, and I put 50 to 100 rounds through it every single range trip. Brought it to the outdoor range at least five times. I've been at the outdoor range a ton lately. A lot of it was like I'm shooting kind of silly videos where I'm shooting Hershey Kisses and gallons of vinegar and... I don't remember what else. Oh, giant jawbreakers, and I use this in all of those videos. And on top of that, I would put a box or, or a box or two of ammo through it, run some drills while I was at the uh, at the range as well. I also brought it to the indoor range uh, one time as well, my weekly shooters fitness class to try to stay in somewhat decent shape. I brought it to that, shot uh, a ton of different drills indoors with this as well, and I didn't get nearly as much footage as I normally do. I was just I don't know. It was, it's been really, really cold, preoccupied, no excuses. In total, I probably have between three to 400 rounds through this gun. And uh, this has been out for a long time. There's nothing I'm going to say about a Beretta 92 and durability that's going to change people's opinion of a Beretta 92. They're, they're, they're very, very reliable guns on average. All right, guys, let's talk about the pros, cons, what I think of it overall. And I'll get you guys out of here so you can go continue your day. Pros is going to be pretty much everything. If you couldn't tell, I'm a very big fan of this gun. It's very nice. I like it a lot. Trigger is very, very good. Very, very smooth. I like the sights and how they're dovetailed. I like the vertex slide style. Front serrations goes with that. The slide release. The, the, the grip, the, the grips, the frame. I mean, there's a lot of really, really good thing about this gun. I don't have many things to say as far as cons. I literally have nothing. I hate doing that, but I'm not going to invent one. I had no problems, no issues with this gun, and I have absolutely no cons. Now, overall, I do wish it was an optics-ready version. I will not hold that against Beretta or Landon Tactical because they do make one with an optics cut. My buddy Christian just decided not to get it, so I will not hold that against Beretta or Landon Tactical. I think this is a very good jack-of-all-trades gun, whether it's something you break out the range occasionally, I want something for home defense, Conceal carry, uh, competitions. This is a type of gun that you can have that one gun and do everything with it. This is a, uh, a, a very good option for you, especially if you want something, an all steel type gun. Again, just make sure you practice that double action, single action trigger pull, because what happens, 
I'll break it down real quick. If you're if you're new to double action, single action, what I've seen is that first trigger pull is long and it goes bloop, and that second trigger pull is uh, much shorter and it goes bloop. So. Get out, get some training, make yourself harder to kill. Before you go, let me quickly thank my man Christian. Again, he let me loan this gun for the review, and that is greatly, greatly appreciated. I also want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Ocean State Armory. Ocean State Armory makes uh, Cerakoting, laser engraving, some really cool custom guns. Discount code is Tiberius. Go and check them out. These are the other companies who support me with affiliate links. Again, very, very good companies. If you need any swag from Shall not comply, coffee from uh, Blackout Coffee, or what's the other one? Oh, Prime Armor, man. Body armor, plate carriers, that stuff. Discount code and link is down in the video description. I started a second YouTube channel. It's YouTube Shorts it's called Tiberius Shorts. It's all 15, 30 second videos. A lot of goofy stuff, a lot of quick, fun stuff. Links down in the video description if you want to hook me up, give me a follow. Right now it only has 60 followers, but it's growing. We will get there. Uh, my Patreon supporters, I always like to thank them. They supply a lot of the ammo to this channel, and I shoot way, way more than I should. Sign up, buck, five bucks, ten bucks, whatever you can, can spare per month, and it definitely helps me out. Um, as far as social media, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram. If you want to know what reviews I'm working on right now before they come out on YouTube, those are the two social media platforms you can follow me on. And most important, I always like to thank you boys and girls for watching. Every time you like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications, share a video, anytime you guys do any of that stuff, it truly helps me out and I truly, truly appreciate it. See you guys next time. Peace! <laughs>